is going on guys today we're going to elaborate a little more on entries and exits and when we're gonna look for these entries and exits uh, just based off of our charts okay so um, we've already talked about splits we've talked about imbalances how we find these zones so we're gonna go completely into you know another time frame uh, or replay mode okay and I and I do want to talk about how I'm usually looking for these entries and exits when it comes to uh, to based off my charts, right? So the first thing that I'm doing, right, is is obviously we're starting on a bigger time frame. So these are key points you need to take away right now because they're they're very important points. Okay, so we are going to start on, on a bigger time frame, and what we don't want to do is say uh, we're looking for our zones. You, you, we better not be going all the way down here to go look for zones, right? Because we're on a four-hour time frame. Uh, if you're marking zones way down here or way up here, guys, it, it, you have to understand trading is something that you have to be like, for example, there's a zone right here, right? I'm not going to go out of my way to mark a zone that's 2,000 ticks away because when we come back to that zone, if it's in a week from now, right, I'm going to forget why that zone was a zone. And I want to have a fresh mind on why the zone was a zone. I don't want to just be marking zones and wondering why it was a zone, okay? I wanna always make sure I know why it's a zone, period. All right, so we're gonna focus just on our area that we're at. We don't have to overcomplicate things and go chart all the way down there and go figure out what was down there because it does not matter. We're not gonna go into that area anytime soon. Now, again, let's. I'm gonna test your guys' skills. We have a basic candle here, we have the upper wick. This looks like an AOI. Is it an AOI? No, exactly, because the wick is too big. So that is not a zone. Although it looks like one, it is not one, okay? So we're not gonna mark that. We're gonna keep breaking it down, okay? And we might run into a problem where we don't find any zones. You never know, okay? We'll see right now, okay? We found our first zone. It's a 30 minute. You open the lowest point of the wave. We have our three properties. Make sure you label the zone. So I'm gonna label this as a 30 minute, okay? And we have our three properties. We have one. Okay, property one, property two, property three. Okay, and remember the concepts we talked about in the in, in the video about imbalances and 50% levels, right? So if we come into the zone, I'm already gonna start planning what I'm gonna do, all right? So I'm telling myself, and, and check out how I create this plan, okay? I'm gonna say to myself, okay, we have a 30 minute zone. It looks very good. We have 50%, we have uh, level one, level two, all right? So what I'm gonna say is, if it comes into level one, Okay, there's no AOI on this. I mean, the AOI is too close to the open, so I'm not gonna mark the AOI, okay? So that's why I didn't mark it. Okay? If the AOI was right here, I would have marked it, but the AOI is not anywhere to be found. So I'm not gonna mark the AOI. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start creating my plan. I'm gonna say to myself, okay, if we come into that 30 minute, okay, I'm not taking long. I don't wanna take long at level one. I usually don't take longs at level one. I don't know why, I don't like it. I like to wait to 50% and then I take, then take my trade. So I'm gonna wait. So 50% hits, um, if we balance and we get a structure, some type of structure, we're playing long, okay? Now we break 50% and we get some type of retest, play the short, okay? Um, if we have a breakthrough to the downside, I'm gonna wait to see if it's an aggressive breakthrough. So that means if we're having an aggressive breakthrough like this, do, 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 do. so if the, but when I say aggressive breakthrough, I want, Something that happens, like for example, if the, if the breakthrough is from a candle that opens here and it's right here, to me that's not an aggressive breakthrough. I'm not playing it, right? But if it's an aggressive breakthrough that started from here and the candle's just going, 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 I'm playing the short because my risk, as soon as we break the split, I'm break, I'm playing the short because my risk is so tight on this, right? It could just, it, it could come back a little bit as long as it retests, it goes down. But if I play the split the way that I want to play it because we're having that aggressive breakthrough from the top, I could go from here and that lookout time my stop can be on this, right? It can be literally 30 ticks, even with that kind of entry. And we can play it all the way down. Okay, so that's pretty solid. So that's my plan. It's a simple plan in this zone. We're at 50%. I'm just going to take a look at the 50% marks. And then we're, I'm going to decide what I want to do, right? So we don't need bigger time frame zones. Because we have more concepts of imbalances, splits, and everything else that we, we need. So we don't need anything else, right? We're going to take a look at a 15 minute very quick. Uh, so it looks like this 30 minutes also 50 minute, but since it's already a 30 minute, I'm gonna leave it on the 50 minute. I don't need to put it on another time frame, okay? I don't need to 
put it on another time frame. So I could just leave it 30 minute and 15 minute, okay? But what I do want to do though is, I mean, this looks like a zone, right? Uh, the, the thing I don't like about this, and you guys are already gonna know this, there's a fight down here. I don't like that fight because the basing candle uh, ratio to that wig, I, it just doesn't make sense. I don't want that type of aggressive zone. I'd rather go into a 10 minute and kind of see what's going on over here. 10 minute looks a lot better because this candle is more aggressive. You see what I'm talking about? It's, it's about finding uh, something that suits you and makes you feel comfortable. Because that 10 minute and 15 minute are completely different, right? This 15 minute red is a lot shorter. And when we go on the 10 minute, it looks a lot more aggressive. Like, I don't know. You see the aggressiveness in that candle. Even though there's a, a battle down here, this candle, again, is very aggressive. So for me, it's considered a zone. All right, we're going to five minute. Oh, and then look what we did. So now that we have on a five minute, I see something even better. I'm gonna mark this as my five minute because it looks a lot cleaner, a lot better, okay? It's a lot smaller too. So that's the concept that I was telling you guys earlier is you need to learn how to focus on the smaller zones, even if it's a five minute zone. Okay, we're gonna focus on the five minute because then we're gonna look for our imbalances and our splits and everything else that we need to look for. So now we gotta find our imbalances. Where's our imbalance? Okay, our imbalance is on top of here. So this is our split, okay? This is the imbalance that needs to be filled over here. The wicks are imbalances too, so we gotta get filled up there. Cool, cool. And then over here, this is not really a split because there's no imbalance below. Uh, a lot of you guys would probably mark this as a split. Don't do that. I mean, you're not gonna be chasing a move uh, like, you know, 20 tick move, right? No, it's not an imbalance below. I mean, we in imbalance, we would see a straight, 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 straight line. So I'm only gonna mark that as imbalance. If we fall, we fall. I'm only gonna focus on 50%. That's just my theory. So that's my plan. Game plan is set. You see how it's just so simple, right? I'm not over complicating like, oh, we're gonna do this. Oh, we're gonna do that. Oh, when we come here, we're gonna come here. No, I'm not over complicating it. I'm just keeping it simple. I'm keeping it short, right? So. Let's see what happens here. Dune, okay. Oh, <laughs> I love replay mode, but <laughs> that's the aggressive move I was talking about. When you see aggression like that, like just coming straight up, take the long, right? We would have taken the long. We talked about it. We wrote the split right there. We were taking that long to fill the imbalance. Because the thing is, you guys have to understand that, it, like, let's say you would have taken the long and then they would have came back down. You could have easily caught the short, right? On the retest, and then you would have caught the short and you would have covered that loss. That's why I'm always consistently moving like this when I'm trading. Guys, I'm long, guys, I'm short, long, I'm short, I'm long, I'm short. Because I'm constantly looking at these splits and imbalances being filled into the zone. So now we're gonna focus on this area. So now we're at a five minute and we're going into that 50% level. Let's see what happens here. Okay, 50%. So now we have to focus on our reaction here at 50% because we already filled the imbalance, right? You could have caught that move because it was aggressive. That would have been beautiful, literally, oh my gosh. So 50%, what are we gonna do here? And yes, I'm on a five minute time frame, okay? So the reason I don't wanna use the one minute is I don't wanna get faked out, right? So this was good, we formed the split, but I don't wanna get faked out on a one minute. I really don't, okay? Because then you're gonna be looking at the one minute instead of the five minute because everything is perception, right? If you're looking at a one minute, you're gonna be focused on what is happening on the one minute instead of what's happening on the five minute. You can look at the one minute when you're in the trade, but I like to focus on the five minute, okay? It's a lot better and it makes your entries a lot better. Okay, it's been it's helped me a lot. Ever since switching to a five minute time frame, I'm able to just hold the trade longer, you know, without having to worry about certain things. When you're on the one minute, you're gonna have a lot of this junk, right? Da da da, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. That's why you gotta be, you just gotta be careful. Okay, so we're seeing it in this perspective, right? We come into the fifty, uh, the 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 fifty percent area. And let's see if we get that rejection. Okay, so boom. This is what we want. We want that balance, okay? So now we understand that we're kind of forming a split here. Okay, yep, we formed a split. We're above 50% now. So meaning that now we're looking for longs inside the supply. So you guys see how we completely switch from short to long. So this would have broken to the downside, right? From here, I would have taken the short. And if it still does it, I'm gonna take the short. We're gonna see right now though. Okay, retest of that. At this point, I would take the long. I would have taken the long at the retest and let's see what would have happened. Okay, so, oh, market would have closed, but that long would have been good. Let's see what happens after. Yeah, it would have, it would have kept going. Ooh, that is beautiful. Right from the 50% area. I mean, it just keeps going though. You guys can see that. I mean, we're focused on those zones 
and the splits and everything that that kind of mix up the strategy, which is the splits, the zones, the 50% levels, understanding when to go long, understanding when to go short, understanding when to play price. So that would have been a, a, a very nice trade. Let's go into another example here. Um, let's see if we can find another one. So let's go into, let's go even more back. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, I don't want to look. Okay, are we, is this all time high still? Yeah, it is. So let, let, let's, uh, let's go back like this. Let's go two, 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 two. I, I'm gonna close my eyes so you guys don't think I'm cheating. Ready, here we go. Did it click? Is that, did it click? Yeah, maybe. Anyway, can we go on a five minute on here? Let's see. Yeah, so we're good, okay. Um, two, this is April 16th. Ooh, this one's gonna be tough. So check this out. Um, we're gonna look for that zone. So look, I'm not gonna mark that supply. I'm, we're not going a thousand ticks into the sky, okay? I don't really care about that. But we do have a demand zone down there, and that demand zone is probably not super far gone from here. I'm gonna mark that. I mean, it's in that range. So check it out. We're on a, on a bigger time frame. We're on a four hour. We see the AOI, right? Okay, now we're, we're finally starting to have areas of interest. We have our zone, and it's a four hour. Okay, I already told you guys how to mark zones. If you need help marking zones, go back to refer to the zones video. Okay, uh, very nice move aggressive up, very nice facing candle. We have everything we need and we're bouncing at the AOI. Perfect, once we break that AOI, guess what? I'm already taking short. So, another way to take an entry. Break up AOI, I am thinking short, period. Okay, nothing. So that's my first plan that I've already created in my head. Let's go down. See if we find anything else. This candle's not closed yet, okay? But it's breaking below AOI. You know what that means? We're probably gonna hit 50% unless we bounce that property one. Um, <clears throat> uh, let's see if this is also a three hour. It might be a three hour. It is, but the four hour, I like the four hour better because it has the AOI. And then we have a two hour over here. Okay, and then we have do we have anything on the one hour and then we'll, we'll start. So this one, this, this could have been a one hour, but it's, yeah, no, it's, no. there's a fight down here that kind of makes it look a little weird, but the, it waked and it's just too small. We don't want, we want to focus on zones that we can actually trade, you know? So here you go. We do have a smaller zone. So again, what we're going to do, check it out. We're going to grab the smaller zone. Okay. So the one hour is smaller than the four hour. But we understand there's a four hour in here, which gives us a lot more confidence, but we're gonna mark the one hour because it's a lot smaller, okay? And we want to focus on smaller. This is not a zone, the basin is too big. Uh, let's see if we have anything over here. Doesn't really look like it. 45 minute, doesn't look like it. I wanna see if, we, if it's smaller over here. Nope, it's the same. Okay, oh, I see something now. We have a 30 minute right here. Okay, so we're gonna mark this as a 30 minute. And then we're gonna also put AOI over here. Okay, and then we're gonna put, there's, it looks like there's an imbalance here, but we don't fully know that yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a 15 minute, uh, the 15 minute here, I'm gonna leave the 30 minute. Okay? It's almost in the same area. Uh, 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 so you guys see how I'm analyzing this and making sure that I got everything I need to. I'm not just going through it super fast, right? We're just analyzing everything we need. Uh, see, this could have been a 30 minute, but what's wrong with you guys? The zone is too big. We don't need that, right? So now we're gonna go into a five minute time frame, and now we're gonna figure out what's going on over here because it's choppy. We don't really have any Oh, this I love this because it, it gives you guys some real uh, 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 things that you guys can actually focus on. So we take a look at this, right? We have a five minute zone here, okay, that we're already breaking, and then we have a five minute zone here. What am I gonna do in this situation, okay? Because this looks like it's already been uh, to breaking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this one, okay? Because this one worked the first time. Like, look, we came in, we bounced, okay? That would have been good. Second time we're already breaking through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna focus on that zone anymore because I'm not even gonna play short because we have a zone right under. You see the logic that I'm using behind this? I'm gonna play this because below this, 
there's actually a split right here at 50%. There's a split. So I know that that 50% level is split, and I know we break below this, we fill the imbalance, and we break below this, we fall the way into the 30 minute. So I can potentially catch, if I play the short here, 134 ticks. That's already my mindset. You see what I'm talking about? And I don't have to worry about this because this is already formed. There's an imbalance above two. And then there's a split right here as well, okay? So this is a split to fill the imbalance above. Do we form a split right now? We will see, okay? So I have my charts. Look how clean it is, so simple. Again, I mean, there's really nothing down here. If we break this, um, yeah, I can't even go all the way back there with the five minute. I'm not going to, not worth it. I'm gonna focus on this right here. Ooh, we broke the, uh, we filled the imbalance into the AOI. <laughs> I love how the one minute moves so fast, but you see what I talked about earlier, the aggression, right? We had aggressive, 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 breakthrough of 50%, play the short, play it all the way down to AOI. Do we break AOI? We'll see right now. Look, retest of 50%. That's why I said leave the 50%, see how it reacts to it first, and then delete it. So at this point, you will delete it, but you would have be you would have already caught the retest. We break, we bounce that AOI, retest 50%, break through the retest, and if we break 30% here, uh, we have to be careful at the low. That's all I would say. Low is always a fake out. Um, yeah, because we're still bouncing. Now we create a split to the upside. This 30 minutes is still valid. But now, guess what? If we break this right here, boop, boop. Okay, I'm going long with aggression. Let's go. Just to fill the imbalance all the way up there. We'll see what happens. Or we might just reject. Yep, split form. Split was used as to the downside. Fake out of the low. Now we're probably um, going to continue down all the way into 50% of the one hour. Right there, 50% of this one hour. See how we saw that AY? Pretty simple, right? So this is again where I make another decision, right? And this is a pretty big zone. So this is kind of the zones I was telling you guys. We don't want them and because they're just too big. You know, the risk increases in zones like this. So we want to be able to find these zones in smaller time frames, which again, maybe we, yeah, look, we would have had it on a 15 minute. Okay, so we can play it much smaller rather than having to play it with 156 ticks. I'd rather play it with a smaller, you know, range rather than playing it with 150 ticks, all right? So we have the AOI, we have the zone property one, property two, all right? We break 50% now, we could potentially take that short. Let's see if we retest or we continue down. Retest or continue down. So that was the fake out, it went to property three, broke back above 50%, what does that mean? We talked about this in the split video. It means long, right? So even if you would have taken the short because this move was aggressive and we talked about taking the move on an aggressive, Right, and you, but you would have had a tight stop loss on this, right? So you would have had a very tight stop on this, okay? You could have had 30 tick stop, and as soon as you realize, or actually maybe you would have even caught 50 ticks. Yeah, you would have caught your whole move here. So it wouldn't have mattered. But let's say you caught the move over here, right? Super late. I don't know why you would get it under. You have to try to get it in the zone, right? You would still caught your move. I mean, 50 ticks is our first TP all the time. But either way, let's say you missed it, right? And now we're back above 50%. You should be taking along, you know. So it's so simple, yet could be so confusing for some of you guys if you guys really don't understand it, okay? Or understand what you're doing. All right. So we we want to make sure that we understand everything completely from the top to the bottom, okay? How the splits are being formed, right? It's the it's called the forming split, okay? And we're gonna elaborate a little more on that. To, uh, I'll make a video on that on uh, uh, forming splits, but uh, we want to see the splits that are forming. I talked about in the splits video, okay? Where, um, for example, we're on a five minute time frame and we're looking for those forming splits. Uh, so basically, check this out, right? We can't really have one here because there's no imbalances, right? But this is like I want This is a split, but I want to mark it because I unless it's a hundred ticks, yeah. I marked this as a split, so that's a split, right? Because there's an imbalance above. That's what makes the split. Ooh, it got filled. Look at it. It gets filled all, oh, guys. About like 99% of the time, these splits are, these imbalances are gonna get filled. Look, it got filled. Boom, right into exactly where we said. Got filled. Literally, you know, like it's just about you being smart and taking that entry, right? And that's why the psychology behind this is. You need to be able to be smart and stop being afraid to take the trade, okay? Because this comes, like, you can learn this strategy from the top 
all the way down, okay? And that's not gonna make you successful, is learning the strategy. You need to learn how to be an aggressor, okay? Stop being a conservative trader. You're not gonna make any money, I'm sorry, being conservative. With this strategy at least, right? If you wanna be conservative, this strategy is not for you. Because with this strategy, it's gonna require you to be aggressive, okay? Everything that I've done in trading so far, I've traded many. I've traded conservative before. When I first got to supply and demand, I was a very conservative trader. I would wait, I would wait until the zone was hit all the time, right? And I would make money, but then I would lose, and now I get impatient. And I'm more, and I realized throughout the years of me trading, of having so many years of trading, I realized that my personality is more of an aggressive type personality. I'm more of a person that likes to be the aggressor. I like to say, you know what? Uh, I, I am gonna approach the market as soon as we hit these levels, I am taking trades. And when you end up mixing this with order flow, oof, guys, it is the golden strat that you've been waiting for. It is heavy, literally. Okay, so I take a look at this and I start to think to myself, like, I, I, sometimes I look at this and I, I'm saying like, damn, like, this is so good. You see my, my trades on Monday. I mean, someone who doesn't understand it is obviously gonna think it's gambling because they don't understand how the market works, right? But most people, you gotta realize to stop worrying about what other people say because most people that say it's gambling, they don't even have an eval account. They've never gotten a payout in their life and they're not profitable traders, right? So what is an unprofitable trader to tell a profitable trader? Nothing, okay? So stop worrying about unprofitable people telling you how to be profitable or that it's not gonna work because they're not profitable. They don't have the keys to success when it comes to trading. You need to learn how to focus on your own and changing who you are as a trader, right? When, when, when you struggle with something in life, for example, let's say you are just an alcoholic or let's say you are a drug addict or let's say you are a very disorganized person, right? In life, okay? And you want to change, okay? What is that first thing you have to recognize to change? What's the first thing you have to recognize to change? Is that you're that type of person, right? And then you'll be able to change. It's the same thing with trading. Right now, maybe you're in this process of like, dang, I understand the strategy, but I'm afraid to take the trade. I just don't know when to pull the trigger, right? And you have to start understanding that the market, there's no magical structure that's gonna be formed. There's no magical uh, 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 thing that's gonna pop out on your screen. No magical buy and sell indicator that's gonna pop up on your screen telling you to buy now, right? No one knows when, no one knows where. We know our strategy. We know the order flow, we know the volume, we know the momentum, so we can only use what we know, all right? And keep that in mind always, we can only use what we know. Now the game is not about the strategy that you have, but it's more about the risk management you have, right? So for example, if I would have taken a long, and this is exactly why it's okay to reverse positions. Now, I've, been, I've, I've gone on tilt before, where I'm constantly reversing positions, and you, that's not what you want to do at all, okay? You don't want to constantly go short, go long, go short, go long, because we're bouncing back and forth. You need to find what you want to do and stick to that as long as you can until something else happens, right? Because you don't want to be switching. You don't want to be, oh, guys, I'm long. And then, oh, guys, I'm short. Oh, guys, then I'm long. Oh, guys, then I'm short. Because you, you feel like it's swimming, okay? And that usually happens in the choppy market. So if you begin to be choppy, just step away from the charts. You don't need to trade into a choppy market, okay? You need to relax a little bit. All right, we need to trade in, 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 in regular market conditions. All right, so if we were to go in this trade, right, we, we see the breakthrough. See how the, the momentum start from down here? That's when I would tell you to go in this trade. This is a trade that I would have gone in as soon as we broke out because the momentum didn't start breaking out here, right? It didn't close and then start breaking out here. It started going up here, da -da 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 boom. I'm in the trade. I have my, my entry as close as I can to that split. Okay, my stop loss, boom, I have it right under the split. I'm playing it very safe, okay? And I'm writing that trade up all the way to fill that imbalance at least. Or maybe 50 ticks, I just wanna build my buffer. Okay, and we'll talk about that in the next upcoming videos of, of building buffers and all that. But, it, like we're not, like the thing you have to understand about this guys is you're not gonna catch the whole damn trade. You know, I, I, I meet new traders that are always trying to go for the whole imbalance fill. Bro, chill. You have to learn how to hit base hits before you hit a home run. The home run is gonna come when you least expect it, not when you're trying. When you're trying, you're not gonna hit the home run. 
It's the psychology behind it. You're just not going to hit a home run, okay, when you're trying to hit a home run, okay? Remember that. But when you're hitting base hits and all of a sudden, for example, I was, let's say I was going for, and this is why I never use hard TPs. I only use a hard stop. If, if I was going for this trade and this started pumping up, duh, 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 when we start going up, 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 up into 55 ticks, and then all of a sudden, I don't have a hard TP, I can hold this trade. I'm like, guys, let's keep pumping. Guys, let's keep going all the way to 100 ticks, then I can TP. And that's how I usually catch my big trades because I only have a hard stop loss and I let my TP runs, just like you guys sometimes let your stop losses run, I let my TP runs, it's vice versa, you know? So we see that and then boom, it's just beautiful trade, you know, beautiful. And, and it works out so perfect, right? And then this split would have been invalidated, so this wouldn't have worked anymore, okay? So we wouldn't have known that this short was coming because there was no split. Maybe there were zones that could have told us, let's see if there was a zone that could have indicated this. Okay, let's see. So it doesn't look like it. Oh, yep, here we go. AOI right here on the 10 minute, but it didn't go necessarily all the way in there. It went very close to it, the AOI. So that still would have been a tough trade to catch. We're not gonna catch every trade. We did have a five minute here though, because this was the end of the imbalance. So yep, 50% hit, you're right. The AOI was broken on this, okay? We went into 50%, AOI was broken. Uh, that, that, that would have been easy money, easy money, simple. See, the thing, like I, I keep telling you guys over and over again, it, it, it's so simple, yet the only ones to complicate it are yourselves, right? We can continuously mark up our zones. We can continuously learn about splits. We can continuously learn about everything that we have on our charts, but it's all gonna come down to how you put it into your perception, how you put it into your vision of trading and creating a plan, right? Which we're gonna get more into detail of, but it's gonna come down to how you look at it, right? Um, don't be afraid to take the trade. You need to learn how to be the aggressor. That's starting up today, and especially after watching this video, I want you, whenever you go on the market, to be the aggressor, to be the one who takes control Right? Stop letting the market take control of your emotions. Stop letting the market dictate what you're going to do. Because you don't act off what you think is going to happen. You act off what the charts is telling you. And that comes with volume, your strategy, and everything that is surrounded with your strategy. Okay? That's what you need to, guys to need to learn to start doing. So if I see a split, for example, market's about to open today, right? And I see right here that we have a split. If we break above, obviously we know that 3 a.m. Uh, when market opens on a Sunday, there's a lot of fake outs, you know? So it, I'm not gonna try to catch the first move to the upside because I'm gonna think that's gonna fake out, we're gonna get under the split, and then I'm gonna play the short to try to fill this imbalance down here. So you see how my mindset works? It also comes with understanding how the market moves on certain days. Mondays is choppy. So this strategy is not gonna work when we're choppy, right? No strategy is almost gonna work when we're choppy. Okay, most traders that I've seen trading a choppy day, including myself, we fell, right? We can't seem to get it right, okay? So we want to try to avoid choppy days as much as we possibly can, okay? But continue to play the splits and don't be afraid because it's all a numbers game. And when I say it's all a numbers game, it's not really about you losing, okay? That's where people get confused. And that's what I'm gonna talk about in the next video where it's not about losing, and it's not even about winning either, because sometimes, again, we can, it's, it's so easy for us to get caught up in, oh, I gotta win this many trades, oh, I gotta win this many times for me to be a successful trader, and we get caught up in the idea that we gotta win, we gotta win, right? We get caught up in the idea that if we get in a trade, it has to go in the direction that we pick right away. And what we don't understand is that's not the market. So whoever came into, when you came to trading, whoever told you that, they lied to you. That's not the market, right? Trades, the trading is something that's so, com like, it, things will happen and things won't happen, right? So you can't control what's gonna, what the candles are gonna do. You, don't, you can't control what kind of news is gonna be released. But what you can control is your risk. And what you can control is your size, right? So what you need to focus on is what you can control not what you can't control.
Okay, and in the next video, we'll, we'll overview that a little bit more. So, now I appreciate you guys for coming on, watching, understand a little more about entries and exits because it's very important for you guys to understand these concepts and get uh, moving with it. So, if you guys have any questions, just let me know and we will talk to each other pretty soon.